Hello. So, uh, this is a review of the KSE, KSE 1200 in the ear monitor by Shure. Um, been using these for about a month now. So, um, they're electrostatic in the ear monitors. Um, I was really, really excited to get my hands on these. And uh, they come with uh, its own little amplifier energizer, which I velcroed to the back of my music player, which is the Onkyo um, DX1A, I think that's the, the model. Um, mostly using high resolution files, um, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Just move the cat there. And um, so really just wanted to uh, give you um, some of my thoughts and uh, reflections on on these headphones which obviously are, are very very expensive um, and then the upper upper ranges of of the IEM market so um, I won't go into too much detail about the electrostatic principles uh, suffice it to say that um, these are uh, running around 200 volts across a very very thin diaphragm um, hence the Energizer, the amplifier, um, which um, is rechargeable, and I uh, found I'm getting around what it advertises, which is probably about 12 hours use thereabouts, which is a, a fair bit more than I'm getting from the Onkyo. It has to be said, probably twice as much um, battery life. The Onkyo is probably giving me around six at the, these days, and that's about a year, year and a half old, um, and. Uh, it's uh, it takes a 3.5 mil in, so that really unfortunately uh, precludes any sort of balanced output, which um, um, I'm not sure they're going to do on a later version. There isn't um, any indications that they will. Um, however, the um, the resolution from the the standard 3.5 mil unbalanced, if I can show you that there, is absolutely. Um, superb and certainly the best I've heard in in the IEM market to date um, and um, my experience of um, sound has been using many many types of speakers and I've settled on a hybrid electrostatic um, speaker which is, uses a moving coil dynamic driver for 500 Hertz and below I use stacks over the year L700 headphones and um, and now of course on the move um, these are my my chosen uh, companions um, and uh, why is that well they are uh, incredibly neutral um, which is a typical uh, feature of the electrostatic um, transducer to use that rather posh word um, they also respond very very quickly because of this super light diaphragm which is the electro electrostatically charged component um, so it's one driver so there's no crossover arrangements it moves incredibly quickly um, so what that really means is it's able to track um, the amplifier signal from this um, very faithfully so for example, if one's listening to a plucked note off a guitar um, or a piano note, um, one can hear the attack and the decay of that note almost as if it's it's there with you. It's it's as probably accurate as you can get at this point in in the uh, the twenty first century. Um, nothing can really match that immediacy of electrostatic drivers um, there are planar drivers but they tend to be heavier because they're obviously loaded with magnets these are and they're full range um, so that, that was probably one of my first uh, impressions from using them um, I had the player the music player on uh, random and um, and it uh, it found uh, it a, a classical violin track unfortunately I can't remember which, which one it was now but the um, the dynamics of the violin playing, um, it was remarkable. It just tracked that. It seemed to 
um, climb and climb and climb um, very very realistically um, and um, and of course that that is one of the areas where they they do um, shine is is in terms of acoustic acoustic instruments and acoustic spaces so natural ambience uh, because you can you can hear that you can hear you can hear into that space and that's that's very very enjoyable um, that said as well um, they they do I found excel in uh, other musical genres so for example um, EDM electronic dance music um, groups like um, say massive attack very very bass laden very warm electronic music um, it's been absolutely superb um, classic rock blues not nothing has, has been a, a problem for these and which is what one would hope for if you're ha if you're using a fairly flat uh, transducer a very accurate transducer then really um, it should be able to reproduce anything um, I mean of course when people talk about IMs or any type of speaker headphone being excelling in a particular area then that obviously suggests some sort of coloration and um, some lack of fidelity well these don't have that they produce what what they say on the tin as it were the musical tin um, and what else is it to say about them um, very very non-fatiguing um, and that is probably in part because they're not adding any of their own color um, they are tending to um, only reproduce what they're given um, I've not tried them with um, another source other than the Onkyo. Um, I have tried them with my phone, um, the Sony uh, Z5 Plus. Um, it's excellent. I've tried them with um, movies and TV dramas. Again, superb resolution. Um, and that that is worth mentioning. The other aspect, the the noise isolation, the which is obviously uh, passive noise isolation. It's not active, um, in the in the sense of Bose, for example. Um, but it's it's passive um, from a blocking sense because of this rather clever design. Very lightweight as well. Um, and I've chosen the medium tips. Um, these I think they're so-called olive olive tips. Um, they are um, superbly comfortable, um, and they do block an incredible amount of. Um, background noise. I use um, a local train in uh, South Wales, which is a, an old diesel, probably, my goodness, probably from the the sixties or seventies, and um, extremely noisy. I've, I've I've checked the the decibel level on my on my phone of this train, and it's around the sort of hundred decibel mark when it's going under the seven tunnel, um, which um, is, is, is as you can imagine uh, rather unpleasant but with these um, you're, you're supposedly losing up to around I think it's 27 DB I'm not sure um, if I if I really would return that type of isolation from these but um, it's certainly high and as good as earplugs um, good sealed ear, earplugs so that's excellent that helps of course keep the volume down um, another area just to mention as well of caution um, because there's very very little distortion and probably vanishingly low to use those sort of words um, it's very easy to, to turn up and um, possibly to levels that could be um, damaging to your ears so just be just be careful of that um, you won't hear the typical distortion um, of a normal driver which gives you an indication it's too loud um, you just won't get that with these that they're, they're that they're that accurate um, so um, what else is there to say about these? That they are, as I said, very, very comfortable. They come with a little um, clip. So um, I've tended to find that's not been um, that useful for in terms of the listening. I tend to use that if I'm taking them out and I want to, I want to clip it onto my shirt, stop them falling on the floor, um, which I did do once, unfortunately. I did drop them on the floor um, onto a um, sort of concrete floor. Um, and actually they've been fine so um, I think they're relatively robust there is some stuff on the internet which suggests, suggests some people think they might be a little fragile I've not found that to be the case um, so-called Kevlar cable um, again I imagine that is quite strong I do take good care of them of course <laughs> that sort of 1500 or no actually what is it 
16, 1700 pound mark, depending where you buy them. And um, so comfort, they seem robust. Um, time will tell, of course. Let's hope they do last for a few years. Um, and um, I don't really think there's many competitors of this type of um, transducer. Sony have got a new one out, which is not electrostatic, but is reviewing extremely well. Apparently is a very wide soundstage. Um, I'm not sure um, how that would compare to that. These, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to try that. But if you're in the market for something that's extremely accurate um, and enables you to have an electrostatic experience on the go, then really there, there is there is no place else to go. Um, an earlier version of this, it's, it actually uses the same um, driver. The same. Um, these are exactly the same. And in fact. Um, I'm not sure if the um, the camera will pick this up, but let's just uh, let's just get in there. There, let's just see. You can actually see that it says the KSE um, 1500, which um, was also accompanied by the earlier version of um, an Energizer, which also had a built-in DAC, which was 24-bit, 96 kilohertz. This doesn't have that, and it's around. Um, a thousand pounds cheaper, or it's perhaps a little bit less, a little bit less than that. But um, a lot of people have their own music players and didn't require that that additional DAC. So these are these are absolutely superb, um, and I would say they're certainly the best on the go experience I've I've ever had of of um, audio. Used them on a plane recently. Again, superb, um, brilliant noise isolation. Um, use them with the on the onboard um, movie system and just as a player too. So um, absolutely superb. So um, please, if you enjoyed the video, click like, um, subscribe. I'm hoping to do more of these videos. They'll be on a range of subjects, possibly music um, and other other little things too. So uh, thanks for watching.